Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and the fundamental basis of chemistry is the atom. Though it was quite recently that we came to even get a basic understanding of it. This video will trace our models of the atom from just over 200 years ago to the present day. John Dalton proposed what is known as the billiard ball model around 1803, saying that atoms are perfect spheres of uniform density, like billiard balls. J.J. Thompson, around the turn of the 20th century, proposed the plum pudding model, where negative electrons were distributed within a region of positive charge. In 1902, Gilbert Lewis proposed that atoms were cubes, with space for one electron at each corner. Two sides of a cube could meet up producing a single bond, or two faces could meet up producing a double bond. Lewis had no way to explain triple bonding in this model, but it remains important today for the idea of the octet rule, where atoms are most stable with eight valence electrons. Antaro Nagoka, in 1904, postulated that an atom was similar to Saturn, that electrons orbited a nucleus in rings. Nagoka later abandoned the theory, as there were problems with it, such as the fact that negatively charged rings would be unstable. However, this is the first model where we see the idea of electrons orbiting a nucleus. In 1909, Ernst Rutherford fired alpha particles at a gold foil, observing how some went through and some were deflected. Rutherford, upon analysis in 1911, showed that electrons orbited a very dense and highly charged nucleus. The Rutherford model is probably the most recognized model of the atom and still survives in many logos. Niels Bohr, in 1913, introduced the theory that said electrons occupy circular orbits around the nucleus. His model was later improved, but it gave the idea that electrons are quantized, meaning they only exist in certain energy states and not between them. Now is where things stop looking pretty. The works of Heisenberg and Schrödinger brought us to roughly where we are today. With Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, we can no longer think of electrons as particles in orbit around the nucleus, but as a combination of particles and waves, where we know only probabilities of finding electrons in certain spots. Schrödinger developed the probability functions and gave us what we know today as the electron cloud model. This was all developed around 1926. Now we just have a few things to tweak in our understanding. First, the nucleus is much smaller. Second, all of the electron orbitals have different shapes. Third, the nucleus moves as well. There we go, our current model of the atom. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.